Hey guys, 3 to welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be looking at my top 10 Roblox Studio shortcuts for building. Now, I basically use all of these shortcuts all the time, and they're really useful for doing little things that uh, I see a lot of people do the long way, when in reality you have a single key press or a couple key presses that you can do to do that thing a lot quicker. As you can see, we're also back in our little tutorial studio place. And I think the last time this was in a video was in the top six developer tips of video. And if you haven't seen that one, I highly recommend it. So go check it out. Super useful tips if you're getting into developing or if you're already a developer and still making your way up there. With that aside, let's move on to our first hotkey, which is Control L. And as you can see, when we have this object selected, when it's rotated, um, our handles are facing these uh, ways. Now, if we press Control and L at the same time, it'll be moved to global moving press it again it'll move back to or I'll switch back to uh, local moving now global moving is useful because if you have a model that is rotated let's take uh, you know let's just make us a model right let's take a couple parts and then have one straight up right and then you group these and then now it's diagonal and then when I try to drag it it does that just control L uh, when you have your move tool selected and then there you go no more issues and you're trying to move this way you know and boom it fixes that as well Super useful for moving rotated parts and all of that. You can also do it with rotation too, I think. Yeah, if you have it on local rotation, it's going to be rotated based on the part, but on global, it is going to be moving based on the world. Our next hotkey is actually alt clicking, and a lot of you guys probably know this, but some of you don't. Now, see this model we have here? I just demonstrated it, but if we hold alt, and then we can hover over any of these and then we can just uh, click and select them also shift click and select them and then move them and then boom it's still model that's just a really handy quick little tip as well because if you're just trying to change the color of one thing in a model then you know if you go in here you don't want to look through all these to find the part you're looking for now this is also a little bonus tip for you guys if you have a decal on a part or a texture you can just double click and it'll select it and if it's in a model just hold alt and then double click as well but we're going to be using this for our next demonstration which is um, paste into now if you see we copy this and let's say we want to put it on this part then you see we can have it um we can hover over whatever you want right but if you just want to put it in the part like right away just control shift and V and it'll put it on there same orientation as this as well um, you can also do this with anything really if you have um, some particles you want to put in here and you don't want to just like have a particle sitting in your workspace, right? You can just go ahead and paste into, and this also saves you from having to go into the part in uh, Explorer and pasting into there. Moving along, here's another quick one. Control X is delete, or you can also just press delete. But Control X is a quicker way of doing it, so you don't have to move your hand uh, to press your delete button on your keyboard. Now, since our next ones are all really similar and uh, all relate to each other, we're just going to combine them into one tip. These are control 1, 2, 3, and 4, which will switch between select, move, scale, and rotate. And also control 5 for transform, but I don't really know much about transform, so I'm not really going to talk about it. But let's say you want to drag something, and you want to move your select tool. There you go. Want to move something, control 2. Now you have your movement things already there. This prevents you uh, from having to go up here and waste time by clicking these different buttons. And I used to do that a long time ago, and thank goodness I figured out control 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, anyways, moving along, control 3 is scale. There we go. We can switch between move and scale really easily. It's actually really handy and saves so much time instead of having to come back up here every single time. And then finally, control 4 for rotate. And for our next one is control R, which rotates anything 90 degrees. Um, I don't know which way, but it rotates at 90 degrees. And there you go. So if you ever want to rotate um, a model really quickly, you can control R. And also, our next step is uh, similar to this one as well which is control T which is tilt and this will tilt it in the other direction and then you can use this to get any um, rotation you want really quickly without needing to move your um, rotation handles and now finally for our last two tips which honestly myself I haven't used that much but I do know people that use them um, if you're gonna be changing increments a lot when building or you just want to have a handy way to switch them quickly um, instead of having to come up here and uh, change them like that, we can just press shift and 2 to get our movement and then type in whatever increment, there we go, 1 stud and then shift 4 to go to rotate to get whatever increment and then do, there you go, 15 and boom, now we change them back, just uh, <laughs> shift 2 and then type it in again and this kind of just saves you a little bit of work from having to come up here and then change them and everything. 
But that is all I have for today's video. It was kind of a shorter one than our usual videos, but if you did enjoy, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and join Banana Boaters and Dev Center Discord. And remember to leave suggestions in the comments for tutorials or anything else. Um, if I like your ideas, I might make them in a video, who knows, but thanks for watching, peace.